Hi, my name is Dave and I'm going to go through a few tutorials on Quartz Composer and how to use it for interaction design. Um, firstly, when I heard Facebook use Quartz Composer to design Home for Android, I wanted to recreate the Home uh, on Quartz Composer as close as I could to their finished product. And I made this within a couple of hours one night. And as you can see, it's pretty quick and pretty responsive. I just wanted to show how easy it was to recreate something like that in Quartz Composer so quickly. And here are some other um, compositions I've made. Which as you can see, you can emulate interactions on iOS pretty easily. Here is a composition I didn't finish yet, but it's um, it's pretty fun. Another great asset to Quartz Composer is the fact that it can play video, although not too well as the quality isn't great, but you can play pause. Here's something I thought would be really cool for tablets. It would be like a way to browse your photos by pushing against each other and each other photo then having a knock-on effect to the rest of the stack. And also you can use gestures. So right now I'm pinching to open and close the stack. Um, you can also do fun things with Quartz Composer, which aren't always very um, useful, but why not? Uh, yeah, so if you want to download Quartz Composer, you have to sign up as a developer uh, on the uh, developer.apple.com uh, site. And cost nothing to join as a developer. Um, if you want to get a license to distribute apps, then it is going to cost you. But uh, to sign up as a developer, it's completely free. And you'd want to navigate to resources and uh, Mac resources, sorry. And you come down to uh, additional downloads. Click on that. And basically, you can just unclick these and on your left with developer tools and come down to graphics tools for Xcode and as you can see Quartz Composer is included here I'm trying to highlight it but I can't but anyway it's there and you download that and you have Quartz Composer um, some other resources uh, Kiname.net uh, is really good for various patches and explanations and discussions I highly recommend it and also um, Something for the future uh, is Vue, or Vue, I'm not too sure how to pronounce it. And this is scheduled for 2014 release, and it's basically like Quartz Composer, uh, as far as I can see, but a little bit more useful for interaction design, I, I would think. And yeah, hopefully Apple will continue to support Quartz, Quartz Composer, but it's looking unlikely. Um, but this will be a nice. Uh, alternative. Also on Quora I have, uh, let's see, here we go. On Quora I've answered um, uh, my own question actually on any decent tutorials, well no there is, so yeah you can have a read of that if you want and I have linked to uh, a branch that I created as well which has a uh, little discussion going here with some other people who are curious about Quartz Composer and how to learn it and there is a video to the Facebook Home uh, comp composition and also a download link for the Facebook app that I made which um, you saw earlier. Uh, yeah so join in there if you want and there's a link at the very top.